What's going on guys? This is Ryan Knows Tech with TechInform.us. Following up on yesterday's video about which portable Mac is best for you. If you haven't seen that and you'd like to, it would be the one before this one on my channel. So go check that out. This one's going to be about uh, which desktop Mac. There's three of them. And a big, uh, one of the big questions I've seen on my channel over ever since I've been on YouTube, about three years, is uh, which one should I get to, based on what type of user I am? We're going to take a look and look at all three different models, starting with the cheapest being the Mac Mini. I believe this is only about six or seven ninety nine, and it really has pretty good specs for that price. However, the first thing I want to say is, as of right now, April thirteenth, two thousand eleven, it's not the best time to buy this machine. It's still running the Intel Core two Duo chips, which are by no means slow, but uh, they will be outdated. Actually, they are outdated, being Core two Duos, and you should wait uh, the next couple weeks hopefully we'll be seeing an update of this with the the newer hardware which is pretty much the same as the hardware found on the 13 inch macbook pro so that's going to consist of a 2.3 gigahertz intel core i5 and i believe it's a 2.7 gigahertz intel core i7 both being dual cores right now it's the 2.4 and the 2.66 gigahertz intel core 2 duo you've got two gigs of ram not really enough for most people i would suggest upgrading it to four uh, the graphics card is actually the one i'm using right now on my mid to or my early 2010 macbook pro 13 inch it's the nvidia geforce 320 20 amps, 256 megs of, G of uh, DDR3 shared with your main memory, which is fine. It's pretty powerful. It's not as good as the new ones, but it definitely gets the job done. So the big thing that people don't like about this is the fact that you get no screen, you get no mouse, and you get no keyboard. You do, however, get uh, a decent sized hard drive. You can get some nice memory in it, decent processors. It's $699. Um, and you obviously get a DVD uh, read and write drive in here. It's really small. It's really well built. It's a really nice computer. If you already have the methods of input and the screen and you just want something small to sit on your desk and be powerful enough. You can also get it with Snow Leopard Server. As of right now, this may change with uh, the updates in a few weeks. And when that happens, I'll make another video about it. Um, you can get different hard drives in it, same graphics card, a slightly better processor, and then twice the memory is standard for another $300. Uh, again, the big thing with this is you, go, if, is you have to go out rather and buy a screen, mouse, and keyboard, which from Apple is going to be very expensive. From third-party companies, you can probably do that for less than $250. So the Mac Mini is not one that I recommend to most people. The one I usually recommend is the iMac. It is really, really, really nice. I'd love to have one sitting on my desk right now, but eh, they're a little bit more money. So we'll take a look at this. I think these are about to be refreshed in the next couple of weeks or maybe months as well uh, to newer core Intel or Intel Core i series chips. They are 21.5 um, inch screen, which is a good size, and then you've got a 27 inch screen, which is a monster. I absolutely love it though, because the resolution's more than 1080p. It's 2560 by 1440, which is awesome. Make that a little bigger. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can read that. Uh, you've got a 3.06 gigahertz, we're talking about the 21 inch point, 21.5 inch model. 3.06 gigahertz Intel Core i3, a 3.2 gigahertz i3, or a 3.6 gigahertz i5 with 4 megs of level 3 cache and hyper threading with turbo boost. The i3s, I'm not a big fan of the i3, it's a step below the Core 2 Duo in my opinion. But I would recommend going for the i5, but do not uh, let that make you think that the 3.0 gigahertz uh, Intel Core i3 is going to be slow because it definitely won't be. These are powerful processors. They've got hyper threading and 4 megs of level 3 cache. Uh, you're going to get 1920 by 1080 on your 21 inch model. These are really well built. It comes with a mouse and a keyboard and the displays on these are incredible. You've got pretty good uh, connectivity and stuff in the back. I uh, mean, you You've got Firewire 800, you've got four USB 2's, you've got SDXC, wireless and up to two terabytes of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. And you've got some pretty good video cards. The ATI Radeon uh, HD 256 megs GDDR3. This is the 21 and a half inch model. And then you can also get that with 512 megs. The 27 inch, you've got either 512 megs or a gig of GDDR5, which would be really quick. That's the ADI, ATI Radeon HD 5750. So definitely really customizable. You can start this thing out. I think it's $1199. We'll verify that right now. 
Uh, you can customize it all the way up to several thousand dollars if you wanted to. It's eleven ninety nine to start with. That gets you four gigs of RAM and that lower end uh, i three. But uh, the one I always had my eye on, of course, was the 27-inch, 2.8 gigahertz Intel Core i5 quad-core for uh, just shy of $2,000, which isn't actually all that bad because these machines are so nice. The, they're just nice in every aspect. You can get 256 megs solid state if you, well, think it's a good idea to do that now, which I don't. May have a video on that coming soon, but uh, just wait. I would hold off for the for that stuff. But these updates and upgrades that I'm talking about with the iMac should be here. You know, you're going to have to go look at Wikipedia and look at when they update them. We'll probably see them relatively soon. And I would guess they're going to go to Core i5s as the lower end model and they'll definitely have Core i7s available cuz right now I don't know if the Core i7 uh, obviously you can get a 2.8 gigahertz Intel Core i5, which is not going to be slow at all. Uh, let's see what kind of i7. They do have a 2.93 gigahertz quad core i7, which is 200 bucks and actually not that bad for uh, the extra clock and the i7 badge, I guess. But uh, the iMac is definitely the most power or the uh, most popular desktop Mac. The last one to talk about is the V12, the Mac Pro that really only people like Casim G and Chris Perillo have. It's absolutely crazy. This thing is very expensive, it's very powerful, and it's actually pretty heavy. I've looked at them at the Apple Store. Um, from the pictures here, you can see it's this giant aluminum tower uh, that looks really cool because it is. Here's the inside. You can get, I think, uh, like four hard drive bays in it. You've got five, uh, five times faster graphics and you've got 12 processing cores, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. So if we go into tech specs here, this thing starts at I think $24.99. And it's, it's the ultimate Mac. You can't get anything better than this. You've got a eight core standard configuration. You, you can put two uh, 2.4 gigahertz quad core uh, Xenon, Xeon E5620 Westmere processors. That's 12 megs of fully shared level three cache per processor. Turbo boost dynamic performance up to 2.66 gigahertz. Per, per, this is just nuts. Absolutely crazy. So you have 16 virtual cores there. Then you've got your standard configuration here, quad core. You've got only one 2.8 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon W3530 Nahalem processor. That's, eight, that's only eight megs of cache. And Turbo Boost is going to take you all the way up to 3.06 gigahertz. So that's eight virtual cores with hyper threading. Just outlandish performance. Your memory, 2.4 gigahertz system is uh, 1,066 megahertz. And then your 2.6 and 2.9 gigahertz systems are 1,333 megahertz. Uh, I believe this was updated somewhat recently. The Mac Pro is not on a uh, not on as often as an update scale as for say the MacBook or the MacBook Pro or the more popular models are. But these really you can pimp this thing out and get it over thirty thousand dollars. And believe me, I've done that. It's got wireless. It's got up to eight terabytes of storage in bays one through four. Uh, you can do solid states. You one and two terabyte drives per bay. It's uh, SATA. Uh, three gigs per second. You can put RAID cards in it, which I believe were pretty expensive. Your connections, you've got FireWire. Uh, the next updates, I should mention, the next updates for the iMac, the Mac, uh, the iMac, the Mac Mini, and the Mac Pro, well, I'm sure will include Thunderbolt if uh, Apple's really trying to, to go out with that. So you name it, you can put it in here. This thing's crazy, as I've said a million times now. Your your basic graphics card is a gigabyte of GDDR5 or GDDR5 memory. You can also get the 5870 versus the 5770 with uh, I think it's just more connectivity. Um, but it's this is the monster. This is the one that you can completely pimp out with all that power. But most people wouldn't know what to do with that, myself included. If I had a computer like that, the only time it would really be worked is video exporting, and it would probably do the kind of video exporting I do in about 30 seconds versus 15 minutes. So uh, for the average user, I think the iMac is a really great computer. It's the size of a monitor, yet it fits on your desk and has all kinds of power in it. SD, I mean, it's just awesome. And they put the wireless in there. I remember those stupid PC desktops never came with wireless, like they expect you to sit next to your modem in the basement or something. But uh, that's that's 
definitely the one I would look for. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out our website. It's www.techinform.us. Tons of posts here about all kinds of stuff and technology. It's pretty awesome. My Twitter for all kinds of fun stuff is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then Tuesday nights, you can catch us live on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. That's 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in Thursday's video. Stay classy.